Welcome back everybody to Altcoin Daily. My name's Austin. In today's video, I want to share with you the latest news involving Bitcoin, involving Polkadot, Matic, Avalanche, Floki Inu, and much more. If you're interested in making money with cryptocurrency, click subscribe. We drop a video every single day demystifying this cryptocurrency market. Let's jump in. First piece of major news for the day, US lawmakers are pushing back in the fight against cryptocurrency. Lawmakers push back on the crypto provisions in the US infrastructure bill. So this is both Democrats and Republicans, a few of them letting the other members of Congress know, people, we need to change the language. Listen to Senator Ted Cruz sum up where we are right now. As most people watching this hearing know, in the recently passed so-called bipartisan infrastructure bill, uh, there are provisions targeting and inflicting enormous harms on the crypto industry. As originally drafted, the infrastructure package contained a provision that expands the definition of broker to, to nearly all participants in the cryptocurrency structure, treating them as a financial institution, which means they have to report consumer information to the IRS, even if those participants don't have access to that information. Additionally, the infrastructure bill included language incorporating digital assets into Section 6050I uh, of the Internal Revenue Code, which states that in a broad range of scenarios, any person who receives over $10,000 in digital assets must verify the sender's personal information, including social security number, and sign and submit a report to the government within 15 days. And, and failure to comply results in mandatory fines and can be a felony with up to, to five years in prison. Uh, we have seen how crypto poses a threat to totalitarian regimes. For that reason, the Chinese Communist government recently acted to ban Bitcoin mining. Uh, and the sad reality of Congress legislating in this matter, I can speak at least for the Senate, I doubt there are five members of the United States Senate that could tell you what the hell a Bitcoin is. And, and legislating is always a messy process, but when it comes to legislating in an area where most members of this body have very little familiarity with the details, it is highly perilous. Okay, great summation. Like it, support it, get this information out there. And like I said, it's not just one party, it is both parties fighting this charge. The latest proposal from a group of House Democrats seeks to change how updates to the tax code affects crypto entities who do not engage in brokerage services. This group is comprised of about 10 Democratic congresspeople led by Darren Soto have called for revisions to the definition of a broker in the infrastructure bill that was passed into law on Monday. You can see the signatures of the 10 congresspeople right here. And in a direct quote from a passage of this letter, how this could potentially stifle innovation in the U.S. As it is written today, the bipartisan infrastructure framework would increase uncertainty in the crypto industry, pick winners, pick losers, and thwart IRS efforts to accurately tax cryptocurrencies, all while ending our country's competitive edge against other countries in the digital asset marketplace. Give me your initial thoughts on this. Even though the infrastructure bill was passed, we are still, in a sense, on a time clock to change certain passages if we can get consensus in Congress. I will keep tabs on this. I will make a video as soon as I get an update. Next up, let's talk about altcoins. Akala has just won the first Polkadot parachain auction with over 1.3 billion in DOT committed. So this is a very big deal. This is the first parachain auction of many. And what happens is DOT holders vote with their DOT and choose which projects they want to receive a parachain. And by the way, this DOT is now locked up for two years. Yes, the individuals get the DOT back after two years, but as these parachain auctions continue to go on, I believe there's gonna be about 100 of them, this will create extreme scarcity for the DOT token. Akala is a DeFi platform and it just narrowly beat out Moonbeam, which will probably just take the second slot, which is an Ethereum compatibility layer. So the people have spoken. Over 81,000 wallets contributed their DOT for Akala. And now Akala has major interoperability cross-chain in the crypto space because it secured a slot. Give me your general take on this down below. If you hold DOT, I would love to hear your thoughts. And which project after Akala, after potentially Moonbeam, do you think should receive a slot in these first few auctions? Let me know. Next up, major news for Polygon. The NFL and Ticketmaster launched ticket stub NFTs on Polygon. 
meaning that the virtual commemorative ticket NFTs will automatically be sent to fans' Ticketmaster wallets after they've attended live games. It is crazy how much the sports community, with already huge audiences, are adopting cryptocurrency like this. Now, this will be for every single game for at least the rest of this year if you attend live. And in order to claim your NFT, NFL fans will need to have purchased their tickets through at least one of the licensed NFL ticket network vendors, Ticketmaster, StubHub, SeatGeek, or a team's corresponding ticket office. In a direct quote from the NFL on why they're choosing to do this, leveraging the emerging world of NFTs is a new and exciting way for us to create additional value and to further engage with fans who attend select games by providing a virtual commemorative ticket. And let me put this into perspective for you. Now the NFL is officially working with Polygon to issue NFT tickets, and they're also working with Dapper Labs in the Flow blockchain to issue NFT collectibles as well. This new fan engagement initiative with Ticketmaster is separate from our partnership with Dapper Labs, where we will offer digital video collectible of NFL video highlights to fans. Give me your thoughts down below, and remember, just because price is dipping today, this kind of news is a big green flag long term. Think long term. Okay, before we get to Floki Inu, before we get to Avalanche, I want to give a 60 second plug to sponsor of the channel, OKCoin. This is a global cryptocurrency exchange that is fully regulated in the US and has the cheapest fees. A better way to Bitcoin, join the fastest growing global cryptocurrency exchange with the lowest fees around. There is a link down below in the video description. Check it out, link down below. And by the way, we did have a great interview with OKCoin's head of listing and community just a few days ago on how they're able to offer the cheapest fees, what else makes them different, what other coins will they be listing in the future, etc. I'll link this down below as well if you want to check it out. Great interview. And the one last thing I do want to say is they do have 100% fee-less staking. They do not take a penny. If you use our link down below, you can see people are staking their Miami coin right now, earning STX altcoin, earning BTC, as well as staking options of many other quality coins. Link down below. Check it out. Let's keep moving. Next piece of quick news for Floki Inu. Floki Inu ads on London Underground, which is their subway system, I believe, are now under investigation by UK's advertising watchdog. If you hold Floki Inu, just be aware, this is UK's Advertising Standards Authority, ASA, and they say in a direct quote, while I can't go into specifics at this time, I can confirm that we are currently investigating Floki Inu. This is the example of the Floki Inu ad, Missed Doge, get Floki. That's what the UK is going after now. We will see. And next piece of huge news for Avalanche, Cryptocurrency, and Deloitte. AVAX hits an all-time high after Ava, Ava Labs' deal with Deloitte. So, here's what's up. Consulting giant and big four accounting firm Deloitte announced a strategic alliance with Ava Labs to build an Avalanche blockchain-based platform for easing disaster recovery red tape. And why Deloitte said they're building on Avalanche? Deloitte said that building its new platform on Avalanche provides state and local officials with a decentralized, transparent, and cost-efficient system with minimized risk of fraud, waste, and abuse. In a direct quote from Avalanche, this new platform features a user-friendly interface backed by the cutting edge of blockchains helping state and local governments focus on their recovery rather than extensive claims processes. processes. We are proud to work closely with Deloitte to offer this new, secure, and beneficial technology for communities across the country. So a huge sign of adoption for Avalanche. Pretty freaking cool. Pretty freaking cool. That is the video. My name's Austin. Like always, see you tomorrow.